Have you ever wondered how maple syrup is made? Maple syrup is a natural sweetener healthier than sugar because of its high content of minerals and antioxidants. You can put it in pancakes, waffle, in coffee, in baking, or in any other dishes. Take note, maple syrup is a proudly Canadian product. 80% of maple syrup supply in the world comes from Canada. Today, I'm going to show you how maple syrup is made. conservation area in Stouffville, Ontario and right now they are doing the maple syrup festival this is the right season to collect the sap of maple the transition of the season from winter to spring it's a little bit cold today but still we are here to witness their maple syrup festival as you can see here it takes 40 buckets of sap to make one bucket of maple syrup so come on guys come with me and I will show you a lot of stuff a lot of things about collecting maple syrup they have this maple syrup trail so we will go and see how they collect the sap or the juice from the maple tree oh there's one here there's one How they collect the, the juice or the sap from the maple tree. This is the sugar maple tree. You see the cracks and the dots, the spots, the gray spots. During this time, there's a lot of maple sap that was stored during the winter season. And we're going to collect some of them. This part of the tree facing the sun has more sap coming out. They poke a hole here using a drill and they're using this spile, they call it. You can buy it in uh, uh, stores where they sell a lot of stuff for gardening here and then the sap would come down here. And then they just collect it here and then later on they're going to boil it, boil, boil, boil to get the syrup. So I'll show you more. There's nothing coming out, but the juice is now frozen there. The sap is now frozen. You know why it is stopped flowing? Because it's so cold today. The right temperature to collect the sap is when the nighttime is not freezing and at daytime it should be more than zero degree. And it's been warm the past days. But today is especially cold. That's why that little sap down there is now frozen. But they should be flowing more in the next days. The sap from black maples, red maples, and sugar maples is used to make maple syrup because they have the most sugar in their sap. So these are the leaves of the different kind of maple tree there are so many kinds or varieties of maple tree but these four are what they use for getting the maple I think when I was recently placed right here so I was heating up the liquid and it's boiling the liquid off until it's completely up with the sugar it could take a little week to do all the way through also this is the traditional this is the oldest old, oldest old method way. yeah before this stuff told us that during the old time, when metal pots were not yet invented, heated rocks were used to boil maple sap, which definitely took them a very long time to make the syrup. This is how they put a hole. This is a manual drill. <laughs> so, not too deep, and it should be angled a little bit upward, right? Yeah, I know something. Angled a little bit like that. And then, oops, and then you push the spile, you push the thing here, and then 
Oh, it's a, it's a cut tree. This is this is not a real tree. It's a practice tree. <laughs> it's a practice tree, and this is a practice drill. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That's too deep. <laughs> Only oh, one more Hey, you're gonna break the drill. That's enough, Gabby. <laughs> Right, right, turn right, right. You know? Oh, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Not too deep. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Claire. For a huge tree like this, you can, you can put more than two holes. So, see, I have two here. And for this one, I think you can put one more. But, you know, for the sake of the health of the tree, they don't put three. And it just should be more than six inches away from each other. Can you show me if you look? Because it's too cold today, this sap has turned into snow, into ice. The sap has turned into ice. And the, the sap in there it's already frozen so we are not able to see the dropping or the dripping of the sap because it's too cold okay. look surprise this bucket is full of maple sap look. Full. it's frozen now it's no ice this tree is so good. And the other one, the other one here. Let's see. Surprise! It's almost full. Look. <laughs> you can see the sap is clear, almost clear, because the sugar here is just two percent or less, or less maybe. And this has to go into the boiling process, which I'm going to show you later. In this part of the trail, they showed us the traditional way of boiling maple sap using large pots or kettles and in an open fire using firewood. It would take about 4 hours to reduce the sap to the desired sweetness and consistency of the syrup. This method is still being used today in some farms with this small production. However, in bigger maple syrup companies, they are now using a more advanced technology have to cook it longer to get that same percentage of sugar so you're gonna be just like the sweetness but not a lot of maple then you go for like a lighter or a very nice very nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i will try this this is pure maple syrup let me see <laughs> good. did you try it mm. it's good Mm. Yummy. It's different. Different than honey. It's different than molasses. It's really from this tree. From this tree. Yummy. You put this on um, pancakes, waffles, or any other food. You can also use this as ingredient for your cooking. Put this in your coffee or tea. Good. Do you know that maple syrup has lots of health benefits? First of all, this is rich in antioxidant. This is better than the refined sugar. It has lots of manganese, zinc, it has anti-inflammatory um, nutrients, and it has low glucose levels. And it can replace the artificial sweetener. So instead of using the other branded uh, sweeteners, use this one better. This machine in front of us is the evaporator. It's barely a machine. It's essentially just a 
giant metal pan sitting on top of a wood burning stove. This is the method used now by big companies. They may still use firewood or other fuel, but it is more sanitary and more safe. And they can make a large batch of maple syrup. Many people think that the color of the maple syrup alters the flavor, or sorry, alters the sweetness. This is not true. It is all 66% sugar. There are four grades of maple syrup, which you can recognize in their color. Light color has thinner consistency. The darker color has thicker consistency. Do they differ in sugar content? The answer is no. All of them have 66% sugar content and the rest is water.